What's up, King? Want to talk about a uh, movement we're doing for uh, part of our warm up drills on Thursday? Real basic idea, just a get down stand up, not a real fancy name. But the basic idea here is how many ways can you go from a standing position down to the floor where you're seated or even laying down, but just for today we'll go down to seated uh, and stand back up? There are you know, as many ways as creativity would allow for you uh, to do it here. Some fast, some slow, some very controlled, maybe some uh, a little bit more chaotic. But what I want you to explore, like uh, five to ten times uh, each, uh, each round as you're going through the drills, is how can you get down to a seated position and back up, and preferably uh, without the use of your hands. If you have to use your hands, that's uh, perfectly acceptable. But um, if it's possible without injury, without like bothering any uh, knees, hips, ankles, I want you to try and do it without the use of your hands. And uh, odds are you'll have to kind of go down on one leg, do some sort of maneuver maybe similar to a Turkish getup, um, and then you know be able to get down to the floor. But if you do it on one side, try to make sure that you can do it on the other. Or go down on one side, up on the other, and then down on the other, up on your first side. You know, get creative with it, but within this very, very fundamental uh, movement idea, like standing, down to seated on the floor, back to standing, I think there's a lot of opportunity for um, creativity to uh, emerge and for some growth to happen. And it definitely can be like a, a way to find out where some loopholes are as far as what you think or what we think we have as far as ability. So uh, play with it, give it some attention, uh, maybe even play with it beyond uh, the class today. If you're able to find a few solutions, uh, consider you know exploring a few more and just you know look around the room as other folks go through it and see what they're able to tackle. And uh, you know if you if you're able to mimic it, awesome. Uh, but if you find that like oh smokes like my my knees or my hips don't allow me to do that, start to ask like why not and what what can I do to to maybe gain some of that mobility uh, or ability. And you'll find that it translates much beyond just this basic idea. I guarantee no one here who can uh, get down and up a whole bunch of different ways is at home practicing it. It's more of like a symptom of what the, the hips and ankles and knees are like currently. Um, but like I said, it can be illuminating as far as uh, uh, you know where to go with some development and, and what you can work on. So enjoy it. The get down stand up. Very fundamental, but lots of room for play.